Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to enlarge 2D shapes using negative scale factor. So this is one example. We are going to enlarge the rectangle DEFG, is this one here, by a scale factor minus two from the center of enlargement two minus two, which I have plotted here. This is the center of enlargement. I'm going to call it this one a uh, P. Right. Now, as I previously explained, you can do this using two methods. One method is by using a ruler and measuring the distance from the center of enlargement to each corner of the shape and then multiply that by the scale factor. And the other method is a the vector method. So let's have a look at the first method, the measuring, uh, the drawing lines and measuring the distance from the center of enlargement to each corner. So if you follow this method, this is what we're going to get. So as you see, I have drawn uh, lines that, are, that join the center of enlargement which, with each corner of the shape of the rectangle. Now, now, when the scale factor is positive, I don't know if you noticed in my previous video, uh, if the scale factor is positive, then the image will appear on this side. So this side here of the, of the first shape. But now the scale factor is negative, it's minus two. So the image or the enlarged shape is going to appear on the other side of the shape of so is opposite uh, on the other side of the shape and can you see the direction of the enlarged shape i have shown by these arrows so this is where you are going to see the enlarged shape which means if the distance for example from o to d you can see clearly o to d there's two diagonals of those two little squares and that means d dash is going to appear so minus two times two is minus four, so it's on the other side. So it is one, two, three, four, so it appears right there. So D dash, this is the, the first plotted point so on the other side, because it's a negative scale factor. If the scale factor was positive, then the D dash would appear right here. Can you see if it was positive? For now, it appears on the other side of the, a center of enlargement. Can you continue and do exactly the do it, huh? exactly the same thing with the rest of the corners? Now G, it is um, one two, so it goes is going to be it's going to be if I use a ruler, so I can measure measure the distance to the ruler is four centimeter, and so it's going to be eight centimeter. So it's going to be right there somewhere here eight centimeter. So this is where the G, G prime is going to be. And the E prime, let's measure again, use a ruler, the distance from the center of enlargement P to E, it is going to be, uh, I'm going to use again the page of my screen, it is about five centimeter, which means the new distance E dash from P is going to be five times two because the scale factor is minus two times two and minus 10 because it's on the other side. So negative. So it's going to be 10 away from P. So it's going to be somewhere here. Okay, somewhere here. So, and this is going to be the, the E prime, e, e, e dash actually, E dash. And of course the F dash is going to be somewhere here, the F dash. And then if we join this with well, together all the G dash, D dash, E dash, and F dash. This is what we are going to have. So you, again, you have to use a ruler to draw straight lines, okay, to make it look. You know, obviously, the enlarged shape should be as accurate as possible. And now, can you see, can you notice the shape? Not only is it enlarged uh, with a scale factor minus two, it's on the other side, but it's actually, it appears upside down. So, this is a better, a better um, 
uh, representation using straight lines of the enlarged shape. See, it's totally upside down. Scale factor minus two and the enlargement appears on the other side of the center of uh, the enlargement. Right, now, what if I use the scale factor method? And it's a lot more accurate, the scale factor method. So this is what is going to happen. Now, column vector, we use the column vector to, to get from the center of enlargement P, this is the center of enlargement P, to, um, to the corner. So to get from the center of enlargement P to the corner D, we go, can you see, we go two to the right. So this is the direction of move two to the right and one down. So this is the color method that represents uh, the, the, the position of D from P. So two to the right and one down. Now, to find the new d dash, we have to multiply the column vector by minus two because the scale factor is minus two. So multiply by the scale factor. And so the new column vector is going to be minus four, two, right? Now, where is d dash is going to be minus four, two. So we start again from the center of enlargement. Minus four means four units to the left. So one, two, three, four, and then two units up. And this is exactly what it's going to be. We call this a D dash. We do exactly the same thing with all the corners. So G, so G, the column vector, they represent the position of G from the scale, from the center of enlargement is going to be, so let's find out together. So we count one, two, three, four, so four to the right, and one down. So there you go, it's four to the right. So it's positive, one down is negative. There you go. And then we multiply this by minus two to find the G, the G, the G dash, okay? So G dash is going to be minus eight, and then minus one times minus two, minus eight, so plus two, which means eight units to the left and then two units up. So we start from the center of enlargement, we move eight units to the left. So let's start together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and stop here. And then two units up, uh, one, two. And then we land, land right there. So this is where the G dash is going to be. So the new corner of our new enlarged shape. We do exactly the same thing with E. So we have E, the column vector that represents the position of E from the center of enlargement is going to be, let's count together, one, two, so two to the right and one, two, three, four down. So it's going to be positive two and negative four. Now to find the E dash, Okay, we multiply this by two, sorry, by minus two. And so the vector for E dash is going to be minus four and then minus four times minus two, positive eight. So minus four, eight from the center of enlargement. So let's start from the center of enlargement. We go down, move to the left, four, this is the left four, one, two, three, four, and eight up. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we stop here. So this is where the, sorry, this is where the E dash is going to be. There you go, E dash. And obviously, now you don't have to do the F dash because it's a rectangle, and of course it's going to be, to, to be right parallel with the E prime, so it's going to be right there. So this is where the F, F dash is going to be, and there you go. Now is again the time you use the ruler, you use the ruler to draw, to join the new plotted point of the enlarged shape with straight lines. Okay, now I can't use the ruler here, but I'm going to try my best to draw very straight lines. There you go, there you go. So this is going to be the enlarged shape using the column vector method. And I think this is a much more accurate uh, uh, way of enlarging shape 
using other positive or negative, negative uh, scale factor. However, it's entirely up to you. If you remember the other method better and you are accurate when you use the a ruler, you go for that one. This method is, is very accurate because you plot the points one by one and you move uh, uh, across the, the squares of the worksheet of the book, but it's entirely up to you. So thank you very much for watching my steps. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.